Ryan Gass here at ptpgun.com. And today, we're gonna show you how to field strip your Glock 43X. Now, before we take apart any firearm, we make sure that we go ahead and double check, make sure the firearm is unloaded. So we're going ahead, drop the magazine, set it to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and check to make sure there's no round in the chamber nor magazine inserted. Now, go ahead, pull that slide back and let go, and point it in a safe direction, go ahead and pull the trigger. Now, there's two different ways to take a Glock, and we'll show both, all right? First one being, we're gonna put the muzzle of the gun in the table, lean it forward on its head, and press down on the frame. When we do that, we're gonna see the slide come back. And that's what we wanna see, and that's what we wanna maintain as we're finishing the rest of the steps. Now, I'm gonna lift it back up to show you a little bit. Well, there's a takedown lever here, and it's the same on both sides. It is up, it's gonna stay up unless you pull it down while the slide is to the rear. And that's what we need to do. So keeping that slide back a little bit, we're gonna pull that tab down from both sides, hold it down, lift up, and the slide will come off. Now we're done with the frame for field stripping purposes. Set that to the side. Now we have our slide assembly. We're gonna take this spring and spring guy, we're gonna compress it just a little bit, pull it up and out, set it to the side. We're gonna take this barrel, we're gonna pull that up and out, set that to the side. And then we have our slide itself. Set that to the side. From here, we can do any type of cleaning or maintenance that we might need to do to the firearm. Now let's go ahead and move back into reassembly. We take a slide upside down. We're gonna drop the barrel in upside down, muzzle first. All right, we take the spring and spring guide, and this is how the spring and spring guides look on the Gen 4s and Gen 5s. All right, you have a longer, fatter end and a skinnier, shorter end. We're gonna take the longer, fatter end, we're gonna install that in the muzzle end of the barrel. We're gonna compress the spring just a little bit until it's caught in the rounded edge of that barrel lug. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert the frame into the slide. There's a rail system here that starts at the front of the gun, uh, about a third of the way from the front. We're gonna insert that into the back of the slide. We're gonna keep it matched up. We're gonna pull it all the way back and let go. Now we've field stripped and reassembled the Glock 43X, but now we need to go ahead and make sure that it is functioning the way it's supposed to. Make sure that we put it back together properly. So keep it pointed in a safe direction. We're gonna go ahead and pull that trigger and let go. We're gonna pull that slide back and let go and we're gonna repeat that once more. Pull back on the trigger, let go. Pull back on the slide and let go. Now we're gonna pull the trigger to the rear. We're gonna hold it to the rear. And while holding it to the rear, we're gonna pull that slide back, let go. We're gonna release the trigger just until we hear and feel the click, which tells us that the trigger has not been reset. We're gonna pull that trigger again to the rear, hold it to the rear. We're gonna pull that slide back, let go. We're gonna release the trigger until we hear and feel that click again and we're gonna let go the trigger all the way. For more videos on how to field strip and clean your firearm, be sure to go to our YouTube channel, ptpgun.com, firearms training, and hit that subscribe button, as we have many more videos coming each and every Friday for your view and pleasure. If there's any videos that you have not yet seen for Field Strip Friday that you would like to see for your particular handgun, let us know in the comments below, and we will get those videos out to you as soon as possible. Also, go to ptpgun.com and go to the merchandise tab, and find all of our great swag, including hats, hoodies, shirts, and decals, and support your favorite YouTube channel. Thank you again, stay safe, and as always, train, defend, prevail.